<laughs> gonna play this. A bit of calm down. Oh, uh, hello, excuse me. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. I, I don't know where. Yeah. I came into your house and I assaulted your children. Would that be all right with you, sir? Sorry? No, it wouldn't. What? So, that, sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry. You are on the grass and you are assaulting a living thing. This is a living, breathing organism and you're assaulting it. And I have got the documentation and I have called the police. Oh, uh, so sorry, so sorry, excuse me. Call, calling the police for what? Yes. Yeah. You've got all these pretty flowers, you've got roses, you've got gardenias, you've got foxglove, for fox's sake. But you don't <laughs> care about the grass, do you? No. If I came in, and is that your wife, your lovely wife? If I came in and just slapped her around and slapped your child, how would you feel? You'd Excuse me? Listen. Yeah. Well, you're doing it to the grass. You're also the grass. The grass is a living thing. Okay, I I excuse me. Well, one, that's my car. Secondly, this is my front garden. I can do what I like with it. No, you cannot. Because the gardens belong to all of us. We are one world, if you hadn't noticed. Right? <laughs> okay. We are one living world. This okay, is and why is it any more business? Because I am a human being. And I am communing right now. Right now, with your garden, your grass. Um... <laughs> So she's mad that this guy parked his own car on his own lawn and she's screaming about the lawn and all this. Boy, if that was me, I would have stuck my burner right through here and popped her in the chest and she'd be on the ground. <laughs> she'd learn instantly not I'd be like, oh, there's more important things than the lawn like your welfare, bitch. I just can't believe these type of people exist in the world, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>